Bacteriophages are the most numerous replicating entity on the planet. There are more phages than there are stars in the universe. Every drop of seawater has 10 million bacteriophages in it. Bacteriophages are viruses, basically pathogens of a pathogen. We're at a point in time now where the antibiotics that we've used for decades have increasingly become less effective at treating infections. If there is a tool that we could use that could help someone, then of course we should try and pursue it. Cystic fibrosis is what you would refer to as an invisible disease because on the outside, I look completely fine, but that doesn't mean that's how it is on the inside. Cystic fibrosis basically covers the entire inside of my body in mucus. <laughs> that makes it where it messes up the lungs, the pancreas, the liver, pretty much everything. Yeah, I feel so tired, I can't function. <laughs> I'm like, uh. Are you like, um, are you feeling achy or is it um, no. just this overall? Just tired and coughing. Okay. Buddy. All right, sweetheart, we're gonna have you come over here to do the lung test. <clears throat> You're ready? Sixty-nine percent. Okay. All right. The higher your lung function is, and the better your life expectancy is. And actually, on the paper, it will say like this is the lung health of a sixty-seven-year-old. So I'm twenty-two, but it shows on there sixty-seven years old. I want to be a mom one day to think maybe one day I could go nine months without being on all those antibiotics. Then I would have nine months where my baby could grow in a normal body. My best case scenario for phages is to at least get my lung function to 85 to 90. I would be so happy. Okay, so here's my fridge full of all my water samples and some phages um, from all over the world, places I visited to sample. This is sewage um, from a town in Mexico called Cuatro Cienegas. From here, here's a pig farm here in Connecticut. Uh, th these are from Uganda and Kenya. I have phages that will be used for page here. Here's... Where do they come from? So New Haven. Lyme, Connecticut, and one from, um, from East Africa, from in, in the Congo. Boom. So as you can see in the tube here on the left, it's Pages bacteria alone, okay? And then the one on the right is uh, Pages bacteria plus bacteriophage. And you can see it's, it's really turbid here, cloudy, it means the bacteria are growing. And in this tube here, it's very clear, which means the phages killed the bacteria. So from here, all we gotta do is clean up the prep, um, concentrate the phages, and then we can ship it off to Page. On a daily basis, I spend probably about four hours just maintaining my health. And so how long? Yeah, your best. 30 minutes. It's on the highest setting right now. And even though it works, it still just doesn't get everything. So what time do you have to be in the hospital? I've not been informed about anything. <laughs> well, from what Dr. Chan said, it seems like yeah, like I'm excited for the phages because I just really feel like they're gonna work for sure. But I'm really nervous as well because it's my last option. Yeah, because antibiotics don't work at all anymore. So I really need these to work. The 
little bit nervous, but I think I'm prepared. I hope I'm prepared. Uh, we're at the Dallas airport right now, and we're about to catch a flight to Lubbock, Texas, so we can treat um, Paige. Tomorrow morning, I'm most looking forward to meeting Paige, actually, and then obviously getting past the treatment. Um, it's really just gonna be super simple. About three years ago, it was time to treat the pseudomonas, and I did a two-week round of antibiotics, and it didn't work. My lung function didn't go up from it, and my pseudomonas didn't go away. I couldn't even do things like take a shower by myself. Whenever I lifted my arms up to wash my hair, I couldn't breathe. I would feel like I wanted to cry. I needed help with absolutely everything. To think that without the phages, that could be my normal life is extremely scary. We're uh, fixing to do phages for Paige <laughs> the first time. Since Dr. Canoe's actually set everything in motion, I guess it's only been seven months, but it seems a lot longer. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. Make sure that you are aware this is experimental. It's not a proven scientific mm -hmm. thing, okay? This could be a game changer for Paige. You know, this could be a key to her living a normal life, having children, uh, going on to do the things that, you know, she's always wanted to do. She could go far, but this disease has held her back. I discovered Paige's actually by hearing about it from my dad. Mr. Rogers brought this up to me, and after finding several articles on bacteriophage, I was able to share this information with Dr. Chan, which he very quickly came up with a cocktail of bacteriophage for her. Okay. Okay. Doing this? All right. Yeah. So it's just I don't know if it will all fit in there. Ten rounds. What do I It's a little terrifying to think that like something that I made was gonna be used as a medication. It's not like it was made in somewhere else and I was just delivering it, like I made that. I feel really excited, especially since it's almost done and there aren't any side effects that have gone wrong. I have to miss out on a lot as it is, you know, but there's, there's times you just, you gotta be there, you know. This is definitely one of them. It still doesn't feel real. I'm hoping in five years I can look back at this and be like, whoa, wasn't that crazy? That was my last option. And look at me now with lung function in the 90s, living life normally. Anyone who knows me knows I like my makeup. I get up, I put my makeup on, even if I'm not going anywhere. I literally, in February, went two weeks without putting on makeup, laying on the couch in my pajamas. So I felt like, man, I don't know if this is working, but March came and I was like, wow. I thought, oh, it's making me worse, but no, it's definitely making me better. The air in one second was 79%, so we would call this stable. My lung function really isn't that much better, yet it feels so much different. 
You know, within 10 days after we started giving her bacteriophages to treat her lung infection, we found that the bacteria that was growing in her lungs had reverted to being drug sensitive again. I needed the phages to make me where I wasn't antibiotic resistant anymore. Now that I can use the IVs, I use that to get rid of the pseudomonas. Whenever Dr. Canoe first showed me how sensitive my pseudomonas was to all these antibiotics, I didn't care who was around, I just started bawling. Well, she's got a lot more energy. You see her wanting to do things. You can just tell if she feels better. You can bend a little bit. Before, if all I could do was lay on the couch and stay inside, how could I get a good job? How could I be a mother? But now there's hope because I have energy. Casey even said that he can see a difference in my quality of life and how I've been acting. And he loves it when I go to the gun range with him, but I never would. So he's been excited because we're able to do more together now. When she volunteered for this treatment, it was, it was huge for the CF community, the scientific community. And there's a lot of, of people that could really benefit, I think, from the results of this. To be completely honest, I had no idea what the phages were going to do. But now, there's times I think about it at night and I still just cry because I'm so happy like to think, OK, we got this under control. Like, life's good. <laughs> I don't like your gun. Huh? I don't like your gun.